say welcome to you. Good to have you here at Salem Baptist Church. A number of churches represented here today, and so thank you guys for uh, looking. Listen, thank you guys for coming out to the sunrise service today. Looking forward to Thanksgiving service and our other community services that we have. Um, I'm going to ask Brad Brown to open us up with a word of prayer. He's our chairman of Deacons, and Brad, would you pray for us? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just come to you this morning, this beautiful morning, Father. Just, we're thankful that you're ready to still eat now. Father, it's not some made up story on some belief that we're going to lose here. Lord, we give you praise and glory for that good that we have. Lord, I just pray now that we have this time to just remember what you did for us, Lord. We pray for this service. Brad. Kevin Roberts is our worship leader. Kevin, come on up. Kevin's got everyone have a sheet there. <laughs> Sing along. These are a couple songs that every Baptist or Methodist, everyone, we all know these songs. So, Kevin, if you would lead us. We start with the old running cross. <clears throat> On a hill far away, stood an old running cross. He Seeing the execution, saw what had happened. He worshiped God and said, Surely this man was innocent. And when all the crowd that came to see the crucifixion saw what had happened, they went home in deep sorrow. But Jesus' friends, including the women who had followed him from Galilee, stood at a distance watching. It's the word of God for the people of God. It's beautiful here this morning. 
listening to these birds all singing the songs of new life. And this is indeed the new life that we all share today. Praise of God. We pray with you. Almighty God, our Savior and Savior, we are thankful for the birds singing, the sun rising, and the sun that has risen. Lord, we just ask for the forgiveness of our sins and that you bless this day as we enjoy these services and sermons and meals with our families the entire time remembering the gift your son has given for our eternity. We ask these things in your son's name. Pastor Thomas Hales here from Downtown Baptist Church, and he's going to share with us the word as well. Luke chapter 23, starting in verse 50, it says, There was a good and righteous man named Joseph, a member of the same people, who had not agreed with her plan and action. He was from Arimathea, a Judean town, and was looking forward to the kingdom of God. He approached Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Taking it down, he wrapped it in fine linen, placing it in a tomb, cut into the rock, where no one had ever been with the place. It was the preparation day, and the Sabbath was about to begin. The woman who had come with him from Galilee followed around and observed the tomb and how this body was placed. Then they returned and prepared spices and perfume, and they rested on the Sabbath before them. I find it amazing how many people was involved in Jesus' life. So many people, from his birth all the way to his death. I found it fascinating that God placed a Joseph in his life to come into this world, and a Joseph in his life and his death. And the word Joseph simply means increase. May we see the increase of our Lord today, and in each and every one of our lives. Father God, I thank you today for your word. Your word is amazing. Your word reveals you unto us. And Father, I pray on this sacred day, this special day, this amazing day, that we would remember that we serve a living God. And that you have placed people in our lives and you have placed us in other people's lives for the cause of the glory of the kingdom of God. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Now on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they and certain other women with them came to the tomb bringing the spices which they had prepared. But they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. Then they went in and did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And it happened as they were greatly perplexed about this, that behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Then as they were afraid and bowed their faces to the earth, they said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. This uh, resurrection of Jesus is different than Lazarus who was raised from the dead. Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, but he was going to put back on his old body. Jesus raised from the dead a new body. It's different. He was the first. And the promise we have with an empty tomb is that that you, you and I too will rise. Amen. And then what Christ has shown us in this is that uh, we're part of his family if we've called on his name. And that this graveyard, even behind us, is not the end. In fact, the moment we put our faith in Jesus Christ, our walk with Him just began. And that we've got a whole eternity to enjoy the Lord. So thankful for what He did for us on Calvary. And, and if you look, um, I think about the Apostle Paul, how he took 1 Corinthians 15 and had 58 verses there where he talks about the resurrection. And, and as he does this... Um, Toward the end of that chapter, he says, So when this corruptible has put on incorruption, and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the say that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your sting? 
O Hades, where is your victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Then he gives his words in verse 48, uh, 58. He says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So until he returns for us, we keep working. We keep serving. And uh, and one day we'll be with him. But for now, we work. Brother Wilson Williams is with us today as well from Liberty United Methodist Church as well. Brother Wilson, I've known for years. Would you pray for us? And then, Kevin, you come and sing for us as well. Lord, we thank you. so well the world. Because he lived, because he's because he lives, we can't face tomorrow. And all fear is gone. God sent his son. They called him Jesus. He came to love, heal and forgive. He lived and died to buy my part. Savior, live. 